how did y'all come up with that uh, that name? First, the group name, and then we could go into the individual names too, because I think y'all individual okay. names are yeah, dope. Y'all guys are like yeah. Sailor Moon or something, like <laughs> superheroes. <laughs> well, yes, we are. Um, the namesake is if you're a martial arts fan. I the am. five deadly venoms. Ah. Well, that's where our namesake comes from because each of us bring a different superpower to the band. Wow. Yeah. Well, we are Fem Deadly Venoms. And yes, I got to shout out the five deadly venoms Kung Fu flick. Yeah, okay, no, for sure. Okay, I see it. I see it. The inception of Fem Deadly Venoms actually started at a, as a jam session at my house for <laughs> women by women. So it was simply just a safe space for women to get together and jam. And we vibed so hard that we made we made an album, which is on Bandcamp. You can find La Femme Deadly Venoms, the EP. And that consisted of me, two other DJs, and a keyboardist. And at that time of the band, when it first started, every other woman, one moved to Hawaii, one had a baby, and one went to nursing school. Right. So at that point, I grabbed Aima, who was on the first project, and I said, yo, Aima, do you want to continue this project? Aima was like, absolutely. So at that point, Planet Film was the first project between Aima and I continuing the project. And we always wanted the project to work as a collective where we could bring in other films, other film identifying persons to this project to build and collaborate with. In that process, we found Dakini Star, who Aima had been working with for well over 20 years with different projects. Wow. We asked Dakini to go steady. Thank God <laughs> she said yes. Right. And then we were like, you know what? I love one more film. So as we're building, as we're building the project, as we're building music, we meet Breathless. And boy, do we fall in love instantly. <laughs> so then we asked Breathless to go steady. And that was a wrap. And when we got Breathless That's and right. Bikini Star, then the project, we formed like Voltron. The project was complete. And then we were ready to like make another album. And then uh, Phenomenon, uh, the, the project, um, is it because it's a phenomenon? What, what provoked it? What provoked that? Yeah. So um, I coined the term and it basically was just, um, you know, the the EP before Femnomenon was Planet Fem. And so it was just kind of like a continuation of Fem domination. Get right. into it. <laughs> a vibe, a vibe. And then as far as like the individual names, can we start with you please, Breathless? Because that's one of the hardest MC names. Like sometimes I see MC names and I'd be mad. Like I didn't make it my MC name. That's how I know it's a good one. Like damn, that you know, would be hard. I could be OG Breathless out here. And it's like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, please, please, please break down that break down the name and how it came about. Okay, so oddly enough, like my real my government name begins with B, and when I was trying to come up with a name, I was like, "Yo, I need something like I want it to start with B." Still, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I also have asthma. I'm like, yo, breathless, breathless, right? <laughs> that's all. Yeah. Later, that's I was like, but that's also how I leave you when I'm on the mic. So, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. So many on to it, too. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. yeah. And then whoever yeah, wants to go I next, to go next. But please, break, break them all down. Who's next? Hey, who's who's next? next? I'll go. But yeah, um, go my name, Lady Fingers. I did not come up with this. Uh -huh. Every DJ name I had was terrible. I'll give you a couple. <laughs> Fem Fatal, okay, terrible. Tris <laughs> Nut, oh. oh. So I was sitting with my DJ crew in New Orleans. We're all sitting around there like, hey, Aaron, you need a new DJ name. Bad. And I was like, all right, what's up? They were like, Lady Fingers. And it I works. was like, that's fine. Hey, that's fine. Hey, hey, Especially hey. if you're good on the ones and twos, that's it. Lady fingers. I yeah. might be, I might be nice on the ones and twos. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she cuts it up. <laughs> and, and the dreamer, how did we get there? Uh, uh the dreamer. Well, the dreamer is my second MC name. My first okay. MC name was MC Yams. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> and the first the, the first crew I was ever in was called Free Lunch. And so we all had, we all had food, food, like food, food inspired, day. yes, and you know our DJ was DJ Beats. Yes, um, <laughs> the Beats and the Yams. We had, a, we had a chicken and rice, and I was uh, Yams, and then um, Aima the Dreamer came through because uh, P. 
people just have a hard time pronouncing my name. You know, it's um, it's not a common name in the States. And so I would always be like, Aima, like Dreama. And then I was like, that's nice. Aima the Dreama. You know, there it is. Where does that name come from? Aima comes from a book called The Kabbalah. I'm not sure if folks are, are mm, familiar I'm hip with to it. That. Yeah, yeah. It's the, um, it's like mystic Judaism I'm goddess space. Yeah. 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 So she's she's one of the four pillars of the universe, and you know, obviously, mm-hmm. it was a foreshadowing to coming into the femme deadly venoms that I would always be surrounded by powerful femmes. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. interesting that, that a lot of people are dreamers, you know, in that way. Yes, Dakini Star, talk to us. Hey, well, my middle name is Morning Star, um, so I decided to keep the star, and I <laughs> was raised uh, with a strong background in feminine spirituality. So Dakinis come from Tibetan Buddhism and the name literally means sky dancer, but in Tibetan Buddhism, there are 64 different emanations of Dakinis. And for me taking on that name, it's a huge, huge deal for me. It's like uh, being a sort of a mediator between the worlds, uh, not of the earth, not of, you know, the yeah, sky, yeah. but of the universe, and you know, bringing through the messages from uh, oh. above to below, and below to above. That's and- fire! Wow. Y'all need your own action figures. <laughs> nah, for sure. Yes, nah, yes. definitely. I buy real, Lakers huh? items. Definitely. <laughs> Funko. Oh, I would love that. Fresh juice Funko only, ta- pop, Fresh juice only takes five percent of the ideas we provide to. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. We'll invoice you. 